Okay, so we'd like to welcome you to um, Fabric Chicks Live on Monday, um, February 5th. Let me get that scrolling across. Uh-oh, Carolyn says her internet is down, so she's on her phone. Um, we had a ton of snow last night, so it's just me. Um, so let me just change. Oh, shoot. Oh, now I've deleted it. Um, okay, hang on a second. Let me think about this. Um, to register call. All right, hang on a second. I can't believe I just deleted that. We had a ton of snow. Did you guys? What kind of weathers did you guys have? Um, February 5th, 24. Okay, that's good enough for today. Oops. Oh my God, I'm having a hell of a day, a hell of a day, a hell of a day. Anyway, so welcome to um, to Fabric Chicks on Monday. Let me see what you guys are commenting. It's just me today. Um, although somebody could come strolling through the door at any moment, you never know. Um, okay, let's see. See, so we had a ton of snow, like up to my knee. When I walked the dog, it was literally to my knees. Hey, Brenda and Jane and Cindy and Fran and Carolyn. How are you guys? And Victor and Jody and Sue and Lynn and Brenda. And uh, the storm was a really bad. Um, Ann Lindemeyer's fence blew down. Um, and she's in like uh, Cameron Park in so above Sacramento. Um, her fence blew down. It was really windy, but it was kind of warm. It was snowing here, but warm. But, um, okay, let's see. No snow, lots of rain and wind. Trees are down. I know the wind was pretty crazy. Whoops, I don't know. The dog is off getting, tearing something apart. Sharon says she had almost a foot in Reno. Sue, Walter, we're all, we are all moving to wherever you are. Um, sunny and in the 60s. Ugh. That would be my dream come true. Hey, Susan and Laura. Um, Tina Benedicto says 60 mile an hour winds. Guests in Sacramento almost got run over by her 90 gallon trash can. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll all be grateful when um, summer comes. Um, let's see. Rain in Salt Lake City, mountains getting snow. Pouring rain since last night. Lots of, oh, lots of flooding in Southern California. Yikes, Kathleen. Um, I know I'll be glad when summer is here, but then we'll all be complaining about how hot it is. Um, Phyllis, I'm glad your internet is working again. Hey, Barb. And oh, Fran got eight inches in sparks. Um, crazy weather for so many. So true. Becky, I still have a package for you. Do you want me to keep holding on to it? And you're going to wait for a break in the weather. It's not a problem for me to hold on to it. Hey, Junior Spiffy. Um, I just love to say that. <laughs> um, hey, Ian. No snow in Hamilton, 60 Fahrenheit. Uh, you know, Victor, you have to dumb it down for us. What is 60 Fahrenheit compared to what we would be? Um, Okay. Oh, lots of you guys. Oh, well, hopefully the weather um, gets better for us. So today I'm just going to do an auction because we're trying, I'm trying to clean up for um, the mini retreat and I have nobody to film. So I think that I figured out how to film myself. I know it's you, Judy. Um, I know it's you. I don't know if anybody else knows it's you. Um, Charity told me one day. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off with some amazing buttons. So we're just going to do an auction because it's what I can do by myself. But I promise that one of these days very soon, I am going to figure out how to um, film myself for demos, but not today. Um, so anyways, I was going through this box of buttons. I am not putting this in the box. I am keeping this only because um, it's the first time I've ever seen this. But it's like little... Can you guys see here? Uh, here, let me turn off the, um, let me turn off the glare. I think that might be the window. Can you see that? It's like little seeds, like little popcorn seeds or something. 
but it's inside a button. It's the mode. It was a dollar twenty-five. There probably was two buttons at one time. Let me just close this so we don't have a glare. Um, but look at that. It's like little popcorn kernels or something inside of a button. So bizarre. Um, so I gotta keep that because you know it's not that often I find like weird stuff like that. Well, okay, I do find weird stuff all the time. I don't know, Con. Hey, Angie. I don't know if Connie Wiggins is on. But Connie, you know the buttons you were talking about during the um, the Zoom the other day um, wrapped around those round beads, so you could around the round uh, around the plastic circles. This is totally one of those. It is you can feel it, so you can create your own buttons. So we're gonna um, when Connie gets here for the mini retreat, we're gonna try making our own buttons. But I totally found some in this box. Anyhow, here is the box of buttons. I know you guys want me to dump it. Oh, and some snaps. Um, so these are like the random ones. So if you're new to watching, we do auctions a lot of times um, with found treasures, giving everything a second life, maybe an eighth life. You never know at this point. But I don't want to take them all out because I want to keep them organized. You know me, I love to stay organized. Um, but all of these are the same button. So there's one, two, three, four, five of those. I don't know if you guys can, here, I got to tilt this a little bit. So you're more where I am. So you got five cards of these buttons and then a couple of cards of these buttons and at least one of these buttons. And let's see. And then, so those are all the white ones. I'm going to put them back in here. So the auction is starting at $8 S50. S50, only because the person whose treasures these were before me had them so organized. But then you have a bunch of these. I'm going to come over and, and uh, organize. I know, Mary Beatty. How are you feeling? Um, hey, Mary, did you order some stuff from Amazon and maybe it's coming to my place? Um, I'm getting, uh, boxes of Amazon orders that are not mine. Um, so it's a whole box of random buttons. Um, so if you want a button box, S five zero is eight dollars here's all of the black ones i should have gone through here first to see if there was any i couldn't live without but the seeds and the button were about as much as i could handle so s s five zero is at twelve dollars there is a bazillion buttons i tried to see what it was really worth but you know the prices are from like way long ago, like back in the olden days, probably the 90s. But there's three, four cards of that pink button. And then here's a red one. And there is three cards of the, the red one. It's at $15. And then here is a bag of blue. Oh, I didn't even see the bag of blue buttons. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to try to see if I can get this down the low and no, it won't go. It won't tilt down anymore. You know me, I got to have both my hands. Okay, here's the blue ones. I'm going to bring it out and try not to make a mess. So we've got, a, I almost put through these in my button jar because I can never find enough buttons that match, but I just am drowning. So, you know, today is your guys' lucky day. There is a gazillion, but I wonder where this woman's other buttons went. Cause all we have is the blue, the black and the white. So somewhere I'm sure there's a treasure, probably in another box I haven't opened yet. Um, okay, I gotta get all the blues back in there. You know, you know me, Mary Beatty, I like to stay organized. S50 and then there are um, four of these wooden buttons. So S4, S50 is at, and some boring little white ones, but you never know what you're going to need. Oh gosh, probably wondered if I had ordered things. Finally today, feeling almost human. Mary B, I think it's yours. 
Um, so I will send, I'll take it home tonight or tomorrow and send Devin with it home to you. Cause there is some stuff in there you might need. Um, S50 is at $22. That is a steal. Um, okay, so $22. You guys can keep bidding on that. I'm going to show you some other things. Um, S157. Oh, we have to do the drawing too for the gift certificate. Um, well, I, I think we should do two. Let's do two $10 gift certificates. So I did a post on Facebook and um, whoever, if you posted what you were working on this weekend in the snow, I um, put your name in the drawing. So we have S157, S157, and that is for an iron-on transfer of this tiger. An iron-on transfer, S157 is $2. S157 is $2. S157 is $2. I'm gonna bring out a few more things so you guys can keep um, you guys can keep bidding on things. Um, I have a roll, a bag of miscellaneous ribbons. So these are kind of like all the polka dot ones. Some of them are grow grain. Um, I think most of them are. Um, so you've got some, oh, it's really hard. You would not believe how hard it is to film yourself. Pink and browns, pinks and blues, browns and pinks, blue and white. So these are all like brand new spools, I think. Um, so you're getting quite a bit of yardage. Here is a pink and white one. And the number for this is, oh, maybe I didn't make a number. Okay, I'm pretty sure I did make a number of those. So I wonder if it fell somewhere. Um, okay, let's do $4. Okay, so the polka dot ribbon here is at $4, S49. And then you have um, quite a few that are cut at like 12 inches or 18 inches. You've got some blue and white. Oh, two of them are blue and white. So you got quite a project going on there. And then black and red, and some cut up black and red, some cut up white and red, some multicolored ones, and then a roll of pink and white. So quite a bit of ribbon there. S49 is at $5. S49 is at $5. Okay, get like your bids in quick so that I can bring out a lot more stuff. Okay, I'm gonna close up the button. So S50 is the buttons. If you wanna um, have a say, final bid, one five, or S50. S50 is Laura for 22. Laura for 22. Okay, and then we have the S157 is an iron-on transfer of the tiger s157 is the iron on transfer of the tiger and let's see um let me just put these away before we lose i would hate to lose a single button here laura uh oh did i lose your tag i hope i sure did i put it at the bottom of the box i'll never find it that way Okay. Oh my gosh. That is a deal. Okay. Let's see. S157. S157 is, um, let's see. Those tolls were on sale for a dollar 10 years ago at Joanne's. The, oh, the rolls of ribbon? Probably yes. Uh, yeah, those ribbons, that's a good price for the ribbons. I just happen to have a bazillion more. I don't know if I have the polka dots or not, but I have bought, I bought out a company. Um, she used to do hair ribbons or something. And when um, COVID came, they had to shut down. And 
So I went and bought her out. Your, uh, so I've had him sitting upstairs for years. Time to clean it out. Otherwise, I'll drown in it. Um, okay, let's see. 157. Mary Mintz was not sewing this weekend. Okay, Mary Vitti. And then I'll have somebody drop your package off if I can get a victim, I mean, a volunteer. Um, S157 is Victor for $4. Victor for $4. And then S49 is at $11. S49 is at $11. Um, Okay, let me get a pen on this so I don't lose it. S49 for these ribbons here is uh, at $12. I'm going to leave that open for a little bit longer. Gosh, I moved the camera. Now it's, now it's at the wrong angle again. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Um... And we will be doing demos this weekend when we have um, the mini retreat because we have a lot of people coming. Okay, here, I'm going to move the ribbons over here so you guys can do your final bits on that. This is a big bag of stuff. Um, I keep, everybody keeps saying I have to stop taking things, but then we wouldn't have so much fun like figuring out what things are. So here is a big bag. And I have S27 for $8, auction starting at $8, S27. S27 is starting at $8. It is upholstery fabric, so this is great for making, oh, there it goes on the floor. Um, it's leftover upholstery scraps. They're great. This one I really do love. It's got a good texture. Um, they're great for making sh uh, durable shopping bags. This one has a great texture also. This one might even be good for like a jacket or a vest. Um, you could do pillows, home decor. There's some pretty good chunks. They are, um, they were used in somebody's project though. So you're getting the um, leftovers, but if they are pretty good sized chunks, um, you could collage with those. I mean, there is no end, as you girls know, to all the things you can do. This one goes with this one. Um, there's no end to all the things you can do with upholstery fabrics. I use it all the time. Um, you can fussy cut it. Here's another one. Look at how beautiful that flower is. Um, you can applique it onto other things. Um, that one's a really good piece. Okay, so here is, here's some good leaves. And this literally is a big chunk. This one is like a yard, but cut on the diagonal. So it's like a yard, 36 inches, but diagonally. So not a full yard of this one. Um, S27, S27 is... Um, the tiger went to Victor. Um, Donna, it totally looks like your trash to treasures bag. Cause I put it into, I have so much upholstery. You don't even know, but I use it a lot. Um, okay. The ribbon is at $15. There's two of you. So Carolyn's on her YouTube because her, her internet's not working. So Carolyn is at $15 and Jody is at $15. So S49 for the ribbon is at $15. And then the um, upholstery S27 is $8 for a huge bag. I actually, um, well, I didn't, but I paid somebody to take it and cut it up into um, rectangles. And they sewed, um, all. they recovered all my patio furniture by the swimming pool with it. So it is good for outdoor stuff. And that probably was, and we're not real good at bringing it in and out of the storms. Um, Roger does usually bring it in like in November or December. And then um, he puts it back out like in March or April. So it's out in the sun for like six, um, six months out of the year in our Nevada uh, sun. 
And I've had them for probably 10 years, but it is probably time to recover them. Okay, the ribbon is at $17. Jody's at $17. Carolyn, you were at $16. I'm going to let you guys have a minute or two more of that. Stephanie is at $8 for the upholstery fabrics. If anybody wants to bid on that, $8 for the upholstery fabrics, $17 for the ribbon. S49 is at $17, the ribbon. S27 is the upholstery fabrics at $8. Okay, get your final bids in, girls, because I literally have about 50 more things. I have no idea what we have, but we've got a ton of stuff. That It's a good, this is a really, uh, Mary Men's, it's a good variety of upholstery scraps. I think you could do a lot of fun stuff with it. Tote bags, I think, would be super fun. Um, when Stephanie comes, um, Stephanie, I'm going to show you, Eleanor did a bunch of tote bags um, using it at one point, and I still have an original one. So you'll be super excited. Okay. Um, the ribbon is at $17. Stephanie for $8. And then the ribbon is Jody for $17. Jody for 17 for the ribbon and okay I gotta get something else out so you guys have something to start bidding on it's really hard by yourself um okay let's see and you literally can add ribbon to everything I added it to a quilt um Wednesday I'll show you the quilt that I uh, oh shoot oh I think I might have drawn blood there. Um, on Wednesday, I'll show you guys the quilt that I did where I added the ribbon. Um, okay, this is with that. Okay, here is $2 a yard, I think. It's $9. It was taking up too much space in my... Um, it was taking up too much space on our sale table. So I just took everything that was that same color. Stephanie, it's a good thing you're driving because you got a lot of stuff to take home. Um, okay, well, I'm putting this away to make room. Um, we do have a mystery quilt with um, Victor. It's five, I believe it's five Mondays from five to seven. So you can just plan on, as soon as this on Monday, the demos end, then we will roll straight, in, straight into the mystery Zooms. And um, it's gonna be scrappy. So you can do a coordinated one fabric for the background and then your scraps. You can also do coordinated um, fat quarter, but you know, if you bought our fat quarter bundles, you could do a coordinated fat quarter bundle for it. Um, you can do all kinds of things, but he's going to give us one clue per week and then you're going to have time to work on it. Um, okay. Here is this fabric. It is about eight. I think I said about, um, oh, about nine yards of fabric. So if you're looking for a community quilt or something, you've got quite a bit of this green and then some of this pink and then a couple yards of the roses so s56 is starting at twenty dollars that is two dollars a yard two dollars a yard s56 um s56 two dollars a yard if you're doing charity quilts or community quilts this is great for that and then s03 is um 20 doilies s03 is 20 doilies um they're about three inches by three inches so you've got 20 cute little doilies you can um, embellish with them this one does have a little bit of a stain so use the other side or wash it um quite a few of these have a stain so i might tea dye them or do something fun with them. They don't have to stay this color. You could sew them together and create a table runner 
um, all kinds of things. So you got 20 doilies here, S03 for $15, S03 for $15. I think we've got, let me see if I can move that over a little bit. Um, okay. They could totally be a vest front or a vest back, Mary Men's. Um, all kinds of things you could do with them. I think because a few of them are stained, I would, um, but the back sides seem to be okay. Um, like this one, there's a little bit of a stain on there as opposed to that one where, but it might wash out. I don't know. Now I'm like, why I touched it. Oh, um, no, who knows what it is. Okay, S015 is at $15. S56 is at $20. S56 is at $20. And then we have, um, okay, I have S160 is a bag of flannels, kind of kid flannels. You've got some monkey flannels, some sunshiny flannels, um, some hearts, uh, some check and some more check. So S160 is $10. S160 is $10. I would wash this monkey one. Um, it's not, I would say it is not, Monkey Faces by Springs Creative. It is not the best quality flannel for sure, but these other ones are really nice flannels. And the one with the sun and the moon, you have a couple yards of it for sure. So S160 is at $10. S56, okay, get your final bids in because we're gonna close these up. We have, you guys don't even know how much more we have. Oh, you know what? Here, does that brighten things up a little bit? I guess I could turn the light on in this room. Uh, I once bought a cool doily where the person overdyed um, with a totally cool hand dead look. I think it would be fun, Sandy. I think I have a lot more doilies, so maybe we'll experiment with that um, when Stephanie comes up. Um, okay, S56 is Sharon Weber. Oh, Sharon. I think my coffee from this morning is beeping in the stove. S. Okay. S one six zero. S five six. Okay. What else, what do we have? Um, flannel is at fourteen dollars. Flannel's at fifteen dollars. Flannel's at twenty dollars. Flannel's at twenty dollars. Um. Flannel is, Brenda is at $20. Um, I have to remember, make sure I write on everybody's auction thing. Cause last week when I was here by myself, I had to um, go back and rewatch it because I had forgotten to write on here who bid what. Um, okay, S160, the flannel is at $22. And SO3 for the doilies, I think went to Stephanie. Okay, and then let's see, we've got the flannel. Jane Massengill is at $25 on the flannel. Jane Massengill is at $25 on the flannel. Um, Okay, and then here is a purple and um, this has flannel, uh, purple flannel, but it also has purple minky. So if you're going to make like a little quilt for somebody to kind of drag around with them, or you can cut this, the purple minky up into squares. You could do both of them and do like a nine patch quilt you could do. Um, there's a lot of fun things you could do with it. S37 is at $5. And this says one and three quarters yard by 16 inches wide 
This is 11 inches wide by the width of fabric, one and a quarter yard, uh, one and a quarter yards by 20 inches wide, and one and three quarters yard by 18 inches. So it's quite a bit of fabric, but you, but you would want to use it to piece with other fabrics. S37 is at five dollars. S37 is for the purple. S37 is for the purple. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, Sandy, I didn't see you. Um, okay, Sandy is at 18. So, um, uh, Stephanie, it's at 18. Sorry. And she even thanks me. Um, uh, Sandy's at 18. So the doilies are at 18. I missed that comment. Um, it is totally all about purple. Um, okay, SA, the doilies are at 18. If you want to outbid Stephanie, um, Sandy is at 18. Um, oh, I didn't draw for the two names. So we have two $10 gift certificates for um, the people who posted their projects on um, the people who posted their projects on that Facebook post that I did this weekend. Um, what you are working on in the snow. Okay, S1. Oops, look at the names are falling out. Um, okay, so we have um, I have Kathleen Rader and Jody Hansen. Are you guys here for $10 gift certificates? Um, Jody Hansen and Kathleen Rader. Are you girls here? We're going to give them a minute to respond. And if not, then we will. Oh, Emily, you fell out too. Okay. Um, okay. Stephanie's at $19. Okay. Kathleen said yes. Okay. Let me write here on yours. $10. Um, and Jody's here too. Okay. All right. Don't worry though, girls, if you did not win and you posted, it was so fun to see what everybody was working on. And I hope it helped you to get things, um, an incentive to work on things. But poor Phyllis, she did that label and it, it broke and she had to do it again and again and again. Okay. I just added the rest of your names in here. Um, Okay, Mary Mens, we'll see you later. Okay, so Sandy Cohen, um, the doilies are at $19. So if you want to outbid, the doilies are at $19. I'm going to close this up so I can bring more stuff out. Um, S160, S160, is, and keep me honest, but I see Jane Massengill for 25 and it's all about purple. I see, I think it's at $5. Um, um, Kathleen, it was for posting projects, but I did see that you did not post a project. You only commented, but your comment made me laugh. So I figured that you could uh, be entered too. Because um, uh, I posted that the only store in downtown um, was that was open and actually had customers and the parking. And I kept an eye on it all day because I was long arming all day. Um, it literally was busy all day. The liquor store in the middle of a snowstorm. The liquor store is the only place that is busy. Um, okay. Sandy Cohen and Kathleen. Uh, Sandy and Stephanie. Stanny, Sandy and Stephanie. The doilies are at $19. The doilies are at $19. Sorry, I didn't see that. The doilies are at $19. The purple minky is, thank you for being honest though, Kathleen. You know I need all the help I can get around here. Um, okay, the purple minky, purple minky is S37. The 
purple minky and flannel is S37 to Donna Baker. Donna, that's a good deal. Okay. And then we have, let's see, what do we have in next? So many things. Um, so make sure you sign up for the mystery class with um, Victor. It is $49, but that is five Mondays from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And we will have prizes and raffles and giveaways every night for five weeks. So it's going to be a party. You can party in your pajamas. You can party without a bra on. Um, the options are just limitless. Okay, here is S28 for $7 is our corduroy batch. You've got a couple yards at least, if not more, of this denim blue color. Then we've got a rainbow rickracky color. It looks like it's about a yard of the Rick Racky color. Um, super cute. Super soft. This feels really nice. And then you've got um, a, definitely a yard of the Rick Rack, a couple yards, if not more, of the denim blue. And then the owls. Look how cute the owls are. S28 is $7. S28 is $7. S28 is at $7. Um, it is corduroy. I actually love corduroy. It's really soft. Okay, here's another big bag of, uh, I'll hold off on the big bag until we um, have a room for it, okay? Um, here is, oh, I should wait for Mary. Mary Menz, tell me when you're back because I've got some Laurel Birch and I know you like Laurel Birch. Okay, here is an auction. This is starting at $4, S158 for $4, S158 for $4. And this is a, um, this is a ton of yardage. It's like a jersey knit. It does have a, a faded mark down in the center. I'm not sure what you would use this for, but, um, it is like a jersey, and it's probably like five yards of it. Um, S158 is um, for the purple, but hang on, there's more. You've got a ton of yardage of this stripy fabric. It feels kind of like not the best cotton, but I think it is cotton. Um, but it's, I don't even know, like six yards of it probably. And then wait, there's more. We have a bright pink. Um, Doris said this was a like a knit, a stretch knit, except for it doesn't stretch. So if you need to go back to the 80s, there's several yards of that. And then several yards, if not like four yards of this pink flower. So we've got the pink flower S158. S158 for $4. That's basically probably like a penny a yard for this fabric. Um, this variety pack. Um, whoever had this must have been a clothing maker because um, it's jerseys and things. So you've got the purple, um, the all of this fabric. S158 is $4. S158 is $4. It's $10, $12. Hey, Charity, how are you? Um, Charity, you, that is the truest statement. I totally can see that you never left the 80s. Um, you're like my soul sister. Um, okay, S158 is at 14, totally retro terracotta. Um, it's at $14. S158 is at $14. S28 for the corduroy is at $10. S28, okay, let's see. I'm going to close that up. Sandy S. Um, I think, wait, it just like went back. It went up. Okay. Sandy at $10. S. $10 Sandy for the corduroy. Oops. 158 
Um, and then we have a couple of fun um, nights with Victor. He's going to be showing us that folded star, and he's also going to be doing the napkin, um, the napkin dress. So those are on the schedule. I'm going to take a photo. I just did a class schedule. I'm going to take a photo and put it on the um, fabric chick stitch along, but I've been trying to put it in your guys' um, boxes also so you have a hard copy to look at. Okay, um, Sandy and Stephanie. Um, I don't, I didn't see if Sandy commented back about the doilies. Um, Stephanie's at $19. So do you want to outbid Stephanie, Sandy? Um, Mary Men's, are you back yet? Let me know if you get back. Okay, here is another. Well, I'll save the big bag till I get rid of some of this stuff. But here is a layer cake. Um, S841 is at $15. This is a layer cake. Um, and it is, it does not have the, oh, Abigail blue, but it doesn't have the wrapper. So I'm not sure what fabric line it was. It looks kind of to me like a Moda. It's just blues and ivory. Um, but that would be a good one for the scrappy mystery with Victor. Well, not really. I think you want it to have more variety. So S841 is a layer cake. Oh, um, here, I'll get it real close so you guys can kind of see it. Um, so it looks like two squares of each design. Um, S841 is at $15. Okay, Sandy, I'm gonna look and see if I can find some more. I have a ton of bags under the table. Um, okay, S158 is at, Barb, that's like the deal of the century. Barb and Sharon, you guys are both at $15. S158 for this pile of stuff is at $15 to charity. And that's perfect. It will go right in that big bag that you already have sitting here. Um, okay. Um, all right, if you need a trash to treasures bag, let me know. Okay, these are at $16. The layer cake is at $16. Okay, I have another big bag. I am not sure what this is. It kind of looks like canvas. It's a couple yards. Um, at one yard and four, it's one yard and 42 inches. It's a really pretty pink color. It's got a good texture. It's, um, it, it would be good for uh, backgrounds. If you did like, if you had one of those flowers, you could use this as the background and then do the thread painting on it. It just is a nice canvasy texture. And then here's a beautiful orange one. This one is smaller pieces, maybe like a yard. And then we've got whoever this person was, they were so organized. We've got the uh, gray ones. It's kind of like all the same fabric, but different colors. S26 is at $8. S26 is at $8. And then it also has, I just threw these in. Um, this is kind of like a home deck fa weight fabric. You've got three quarters yards of something that was $3 at one point. Um, a little flower thrown in there for good measures. It looks like a, a it could be muslin, but I think it's a higher end cotton. Um, and then you've got a canvasy, it's probably like a six weight canvas, six ounce canvas of white. So you got quite a bit of stuff there. S26 is at $8. Hey, Judy, don't be laughing at uh, Charity. She's trying to catch up to your stash. Okay, S26 is at $8. $8.41 for the layer cake is at $25. Um, 
the blue oh the layer cake charity the layer cake is at 841 s 84 oh here the the number is out of the way s 841 s 841 is at 25 dollars 841 is at 25 dollars 26 for this pile of great fabrics it, oh she bid against you well she wanted it more than you i guess she wanted to make sure it went home to one of you um s26 is at eight dollars for this one i think it would be great for like um jackets or vests or tote bags but i love this orangey one and i love the pink one um but they'd be great uh, if you're making your own fabric to make i don't want it i don't want what charity s841 is at 26 dollars what don't you want s26 is it oh my god i'm so confused s26 is at eight dollars right now um 841 i'm gonna end 841 jane the layer cake, okay. Well, uh, Jane got it for $26. That's like the deal of the century, girls, because you know, layer cakes right now are like $46. Um, $46 typically. So Jane just saved $20 by shopping at Fabric Tips. I feel like it could be a blue light special kind of night. Um, okay, S. Um, 26 is all of these fabrics. You've got a couple of yards of the beautiful pink, um, a yardish of the orange, the gray is probably over a yard, some home deck fabric would be a good tablecloth, maybe. You know me, I would just use it as a base and then um bedazz put flowers on it or something, bedazzle it. Um, okay, S26, eight dollars. Going once, going twice to Terracotta. Terracotta, $8. Okay. And I have a ton of giveaways. It's kind of crazy. Um, but nobody's here. So I guess like uh, Victor will say, we don't have to leave early. Um, oh, this one's with that bag. Okay. Um, I don't know if Mary Men's made it back, but she should have. Okay, so we have an auction here. This is Laurel Birch Christmas fabric. So you've got some cut up strips here, but you do have some good sizes here. And then you have about three quarters of a yard of the green. And then you've got some of the reds and you've got a yard of the dog with um, Christmas gifts. So I'm gonna hold it up real close so you guys can see it. That's Laurel Birch, Laurel Birch fabrics. I know, Carolyn, you just never know what we're gonna do. Okay, this is vintage Laurel Birch um, S25 for the dogs and the presents at $15. So it's probably about, if you add it all up, it's probably about, I would say, two yards of good size fabric. You have one full yard of the ivory, um, but then you've got three quarters of a yard of the green and then pieces of the red. So a couple yards of the green Christmas, uh, it's, not, it's present fabric. So you could do a gift bags with it. You could do wine bottles with it. It's not necessarily Christmas at all. S25 is at $15. S25 is at $15. And then I have this bag of random stuff. Um, S12 is at $6. It is the Laurel Birch scrap bag of stuff. So S12 is all the random. You've got some that are already pieced. So if you wanted to do a jacket with it, you could totally take the pieced ones. You've got some strips. 
you've got this stripe is fabulous um you've even got some batting scraps in here i didn't see those or i would have pulled them out um but you've got a strip of the cats you've got a piece of this is like a six inch piece you could totally do mug rugs with that six by the width of the fabric you've got some more pieced nine patches here um one two three of the nine patches and then you've got some pieces so you can do the nine patches and you've got some more strips and more strips and more strips and then here's another big chunk that's like uh oh it was sewn into it's like a tube i don't know it's like a a dress missing something oh you know what that is this is when you need that perfect piece <clears throat> can you guys see that i don't know if you can see this here where is my camera it, here it is she cut out of the center of the fabric so she could get the perfect piece but you've got a lot of the other piece there um kindred spirits kindred souls it's kitties and dogs it looks like there's at least a fat quarter there's a fat quarter plus here of that main print and then you've got all the go with it fabrics s12 is twelve dollars you've got quite a bit of you've got quite a bit of these fussy cut out so you can make a little mug rug with these little guys that would be a quick easy gift already already thought out already cut out already the thinking's done for you um i hate to say that but that's half the bag um here i haven't even pulled the whole bag out so here is the rest of the bag so quite a bit of stuff you could totally probably use this and build around it with your scraps for victor's mystery quilt if you wanted s12 is at 18 dollars s12 is at 18 dollars s25 i'm gonna close that up s25 it would be totally good for um heidi's vest yes s25 is at 28 dollars mary men's is at mary men's s28 s25 for the um, yard and three quarters plus the extras of the present fabric with the dogs and the parrots and the birds. S25 is at $28. 20, okay, Sharon Weber, have a good night. S25 is Mary Men's at 28 And then the scrap bag of fabric is the scrap bag of fabric. Okay, let's see. Hang on a second. Scrap bag of fabric is S12, $22. S12, $22. S12 is tw at $22. And I'm going to close that up, get your final bids in. I'm going to close that up so that I can show you more fabulous Laurel Birch fabrics. If you're a Laurel Birch fan, you're a fan forever. Um, okay, this is one piece. It is a yard and seven eighths, a yard and seven eighths. And I have the auction starting at, so it's the small tossed all over non-directional fish. S22 is starting at $20 and it is almost two yards. It's a yard and seven eighths. So it is about $10 a yard, the auction's starting at. But hang, oh, here's a little piece that goes with it. Um, hang on, we also have the border print of the larger fish. Let me see which direction we need to go. 
So we've got the border print of the larger fish. S20 is three yards. So this is what the border print looks like. So you could totally fussy cut it. I haven't measured it. I think you could do the 60, I don't know if you could, you can't do the 60 degree ruler because every row is different. So it wouldn't be good, I don't think, for the 60 degree ruler, but it is fabulous. Um, there's three yards of the border print. S20 is three yards starting at $35. And then let me get these scraps. These scraps, S12, let me get those up. The fish are super cute. Sandy, I know um, Laurel Birch, it just, it makes you smile. Okay, S12 is at $22. Oh, there's two of you. Carolyn Gavernich, sorry, Mary Mans. Carolyn Gavernich is on YouTube because her power is out. So she has to be on her phone. She is at $22 and Mary Mans is at $22. So you guys can outbid each other there. S12 is at $22. So the bag of scraps is at $22. S20 is at $35 for the border print of fish. Um, let me get this out of the way so we can bring up some more nonsense. Oh, three minutes. Okay, three minutes. I wanted to get through all these auctions that I already have ready so that we can start fresh. Monday, we're probably going to do more auctions just because I don't want to be cutting fabric and and doing all that complicated stuff during the mini retreat. But we also might, um, we'll probably be doing a demo on Wednesday also. But let's be honest, you girls know me. We have no idea what we're doing Wednesday. You could totally fussy cut the um, fish into mug rugs or really you could use those for anything. S12, so the scrap bag is at $25. The scrap bag is at $25. Uh, Beverly Ann, the shipping is crazy. Like everything on this planet these days. The shipping is crazy. Okay, I have some more Laurel Birch here. I have S14 is 7 eighths of a yard of the dog all over print. I have seven eighths of a yard here for $10. But before you bid on that, let me just show you. I do have a yard and 17 inch piece also. So I have a yard and 17 inch piece of the same fabric. So S13 is for the yard and 17 inches. A yard and 17 inches, sorry if I said that wrong. S13 is a yard and 17 inches of the kind of patchworky dogs. A yard and 17 inches for S13 at $15. S22 is at, S, let's see, Carolyn Gavernich is at $24 for the small fish. S22 is at $24. It's a yard and seven eighths. A yard and seven eighths. Let me see if you want to outbid. Um, S22 is at $24. Okay, hang on a second. I'm getting, I'm overheating in here. Um, I got to pull off my sweatshirt. Um, oops, there's a pen stuck to me. Okay, S13 is at $15 for a yard and seven eighths of the all over print of the dogs. Okay, I'm going to go through this in an orderly fashion here. Okay, S12. S12, we're going to close up the scrap bag. S12, let me go back and find who S12 is. S12, I have S12. I have Mary Men's for $25. Mary Men's, $25. I'm going to have to reheat my coffee again for the 80th time today. I can hear it in there yelling at me. Okay. S13 is at 
$15. S13, it looks like I have Jenny at $15 and Brenda Yagi at $15. So we have, a, it's a yard and seven eighths or a yard and 17 inches. A yard and 17 inches of the all over print is at $15. I also have seven eighths of a yard piece of the same fabric. S14 is um, seven eighths of the same fabric. And then we have S20 for the border print of the fish. So you've got three yards here of the fish border print. What's interesting about this border print is that it is a different, each row is a different fish. So most border prints have a repeat, but each row is different. Um, S20 is three yards. So the border print is a three yard piece. The border print is a three yard piece, S20. S20 is a three yard piece. Then we have the small all over fish. S22 is a yard and seven eighths inches plus some pieces. And then just to confuse things, I'm gonna throw this in right now. This is, oh, this one I did by the yard. That might be too confused. Okay, this one is by the yard. So the first three people that want it, well, I don't know. It's $10 a yard. You guys can duke it out quick. Um, S10, S10. I must have done it $10 a yard because it was 10. Who knows what my thinking was. There's two and three quarters yards there. So just put how many yards you want. S10 is $10 a yard. And let's see, what do we have here? I probably did that because it was not fun focal fabrics. S21 is the blue with turquoise polka dots. It's one and five eighths yard, $8 a yard or $13 for the whole piece. S21 is $8 a yard. So if you want a half yard or whatever, it's $8 a yard or $13 for the whole piece. It's S21 and it's one and five eighths. Okay, Victor, that's $10 a yard. S10 is $10 a yard. Um, okay, Victor, aw. Okay, that was a good pink. That was a good price. Um, and then, oh, Judy, you were too slow. Victor took it all. S21, Victor took that all too. Oh, sometimes you guys have to be quick. Victor all. Okay, I'm gonna close up these auctions here. S20 is at $37. S20 is the border print at $27. Get your final bids in. S22 is, S22 is, Oh gosh, S22, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've got S22 is Carolyn at $24. Carolyn at $24. Um, okay, Victor's willing to share the pink. Um, so who else won an S20? S20 is at $40. Um, S20 is at $40, S14, okay, I got to go back and see what 14 is at, but I do think S20 is at 40, let me, let me just make sure I didn't miss Carolyn, because she's on YouTube, Carolyn, okay, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is going for $40. Um, $40 to Sharon Weber. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what I saw, right? S20 for 40. Okay. And then, okay. So we have the two pieces of this left. I have S13. I'm back on.
Oh, dang kids. I know. You just can't trust them. S13. Okay. Sharon, that was a total steal for sure. Okay. S13 and S14. S14 for the seven eighths yard piece. Yes, you missed the pink. Um, S14. You guys need to think of this as like a storm. I figured it was you, Charity. You guys need to think of this as like a storm and you should be prepared. All your devices should be plugged up and charged. Um, S14, I have $16. S14, $16. S14. Okay, I don't see any. But okay, I have S14 for $16 to Mary Men's. 16 and then s13 um victor charity victor did say he would share though um s13 is one and a half yards almost s13 is one and a half yards almost and I have Carolyn Gavernich at $16 on YouTube. Carolyn Gavernich is at $16 for the yard and 17 inches. The yard and 17 inches is at $16 unless I find somebody else. If anybody wants to outbid, S13. Uh, S13, Laura is at $17. So Laura's at $17. Yeah, Mary, he's fine. He's just being Roger. S13 is at $18. Mary Men's, $18. S13 is at $18. Um, and then I have a one piece of this that is, um, I believe it's Laurel Birch. It is, um, it does not say. This does not say, but it's seven eighths yard. S23 is seven eighths yard and it's just $10 for the piece. S23 um, is $10. It's got a fun little scrolly piece. It's kind of swirls. S23 is seven eighths of a yard for $10. I just have one of those. Um, S13. S13, S23 is at $15. S23 is at $15. Okay, Victor, you can have, I won't bet against you. I would bet against, you girls are like smoking crack right now. S23 is at $20. It's at seven, it's seven eighths of a yard of fabric. Seven eighths of a yard of fabric for S23. Are you guys putting the right number in? It's seven eighths of a yard of fabric and it's at $20. Like this one is S13. Are you guys typing in the wrong number? S13, S13 is at $18 and it's a yard and 17 inches. So put in your, the correct bids there so I don't confuse you guys, okay? Well, I mean, it's I've already confused you, obviously. Okay. Ugh, I got two more boxes. We did not get very far, ladies and gentlemen. But I got some giveaways, so I'm going to do some giveaways. Um, S, okay, I'm going to let you guys sort that out. But I think you might have put the wrong thing in, Charity. I mean, S23. Now, uh, what does T mean? You can take my pink back out and let them fight for it. I know, Victor, literally. They're, literally, this is $20 and nobody bid on your... Well, they did bid on it, but after you already had said you wanted it. Okay, I'll go back and see and I'll just split it up. But S23 is... S23, maybe it's the perfect color for somebody's project. Okay, so I have, um, here, I'm gonna cut this in half because it's a big piece. It was, I was measuring it out for your guys' orders last week and then it had, it was cut, it had tape. 
And so you were going to get like a three yards, at, but nine inches was going to be a separate piece. So I just had to cut the whole thing off. Okay, so I got two winners here. Okay, let me see who's here. I'm going to put this here so you guys can see. I'm just pulling it out. I've got Caroline Gav Oh, Caroline, you win a lot. You and Fran win a lot. Um, you must participate a lot in things. Um, okay, Mary Men's. Mary Men's. Okay. Okay. So, um, I've got charity here, <laughs> charity here for $20. Okay. And then I have S13, S13, S13. Everybody knows Victor's budget. I don't even know Victor's budget because sometimes he surprises me. S13. I've got Mary Men's for $18. Mary Men's for $18. That was a steal. Okay. And then I have, if you want this, it is, I think it's like the netting that you put in the washer so you can wash your delicates. If you would like that, just put that you want the delicate netting thing. Um, you just never know what we're going to find when we open up these boxes. Um, okay, so this is like a netting bag. It's free, whoever wants it. It's a big, oh my God. Maybe it's like a dirty laundry clothes bag. It's ginormous. It's ginormous. If you want the, uh, oh, Jenny wants it. Okay, Jenny. Um, oh, Jenny and Mary B. Okay, hang on a second. I know I should. Uh, and Fran, oh my gosh, this is how come, this is how come it takes us forever. <laughs> okay, wait, Fran, uh, Jenny, okay, next time I'm just going to pull names, and if you don't want it, I'm going to throw it back in. Um, air out stinky fabric, yeah, um, wait, Jenny, Fran, Mary, Men's. Jenny, Mary Beatty changed her mind. Um, okay, I think I got all of you in here who want to be in here. Okay, let's see what we got. I have Jenny Duarte. Okay, let's see. Oh, I've got some Stitch Witchery, but I'm not sure it's still good. I mean, it was 99 cents, so I, that tells me it might have been a while ago. Um, here, I'm going to put all your names back in here. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, Cindy Lost Sound. Um, okay, I've got Donna Baker. Are you still here, Donna Baker? Um, Donna Baker. Donna Baker. Okay. And then I have this fabulous tool. I'm not sure who would use it of you ladies. Easy top stitching for women's fly zippers. Also for men's fly zippers. I love how it's for women's, but then it, you could also use it for men's fly zippers. They're like little round rulers. Um, if you want that, let me know and we'll do a drawing because that could be like a specialty item. Oh, no, Donna Baker. Okay, let's see. Who else for the Stitch Witchery? Stitch Witchery, I've got Emily McParland. Fly front zipper. Let me know if you want it. Fly front zipper. Emily McParland. I have, um, I believe this is um, for the quick turn. I'm not positive. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to put it right there, but obviously I don't need more coffee. Um, <laughs> where the hell is, uh, there it is. So it's a quick turn, I believe. So if you got the quick turn, I know this woman in her box, she had a box of quick turn tools. If you got that and you're missing this size, let me know. Otherwise, we'll give it to whoever wants it. But I believe it went with that set. So if one of you has it. Okay, um, Mary Min said she'll use this. Let me get a paper. Oh. Emily says, no, thanks. Oh, 
you're pulling snags to the wrong side of the fabric. That's a really very clever idea. Who wants the pulling snags to the wrong side of the fabric? Let me know. Mary Mims. Okay, let me know who wants the thing to bring you to the right side of the fabrics. Um, Mary Mims. Emily said no. Um, here, but she did respond, so I'm going to throw her back in. But poor Donna did not respond. Oh, you can use it to pull elastic or ribbon. I use it for putting elastic in a waistband. Oh, Sue, you missed all the fun. Sue, you took, oh, you really missed it because you would have loved the Laurel Birch stuff. Okay, Stitch Witchery. I have Mary Men's. It's your lucky day, Mary Men's. You can never say that you never win anything. You just won like five things. Okay. Here is a snap. It's like a snap bracelet, but it's a measuring tape. Oh, I bet you you could put it in those. Remember when we were making those um, those bags that you snapped like this? Um, well, see, it was all auction stuff, so no point in rewatching. You'll just be sad. Also, a tube Tina Turner. Huh. Um. No thanks for the old stitch witchery. Uh, does anybody want the old? It could be new. I don't know. Maybe it was just a special. If you want the stitch witchery, just let me know and we'll give it to you. If you want the um, snap tape measure, it came all the way from Costa Mesa, California. Um, so if you want this from the Golden Needle, just let me know and we'll get it to you. Um, Barb says she'll try out the stitch richery. All right, Barb, that's the, that's the right spirit. Um, Barb. Okay. Um, tube Turner. <laughs> I know auto correct. I figure. Okay. Um, did anybody say they wanted the tube Turner thingy? Oh, measuring tape. I've got, it's a, it's a war for the measuring tape. Who knew? Okay. Let's see. Jody. Donna Taylor. It's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, okay. The measuring tape. I've got Sue A and Jody. Okay. Let's see. Let's see who the lucky one is. Tube Turner. Oh, there's quite a few that want the Tube Turner. Okay. Um, Sandy, I don't think you want the Tube Turner. You just were saying that's what it was, right? Okay, let's see. The tape measure goes to Sua Cove. I do think it can go in that snappy bag that we did for a while there. Um, Sua Cove. And Tube National Association for Gun Rights. What the heck, Sandy? What does that mean? Is that autocorrect too? The National Association for Gun Rights? I don't know. I don't know if we're on the same conversation. Um, okay. <laughs> Two turner. <laughs> Two. Uh, okay, let's see. I hate to not be fair. Okay, I've got Sandy for the tube turner and Fran. Anybody else want to be in the drawing for the tube turner? Gosh, I don't know what you guys, I hope that you guys are like sewing or doing something useful while you watch this. Um, Sandy and Fran for the tube turner thingy. Tube turner, I think that was it. Um, okay, tube turner, Sandy or Fran. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I have Fran. Fran, Fran. Gosh, I learned so. Oh, Sandy doesn't want it anyways. Oh, uh, Charity just watches so she can avoid cooking dinner. <laughs> oh, you girls crack me up. Okay, let's see. Um, I have a cute little sign. Um, brand new. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Uh, oh, June, I'm glad you're diamond arting. Okay. 
Um, if there's a bunch of people that want the sign, just put in sign. If there's a bunch of you who want it, we'll do a drawing. Otherwise, the monsters cook. Perfect. I'm drinking wine and eating potatoes. Phyllis, that's like my dream come true. Okay, nobody wants the sign. I'm just going to pick a lucky winner. Um, oh, Jenny wants it. Okay, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. J-E-N-N-I-E. -N -N -E. Oh, June. Oh, okay. I guess I'm going too fast. Okay, wait. June wants to be in the drawing too. June. Okay, anybody else in for the sign? It's wrapped, still brand new. You can uh, you can give it away for to a Chris, uh, somebody who uh, I don't know if you meet a friend for coffee. It's a great little gifty thing, brand new. <laughs> obviously, um, obviously, <laughs> Sandy. It's never a dull moment. Uh, well, I, I figured you did not intentionally put in the National Gun Rights little plug. Um, Sue, uh, Dor Doritos and margaritas for dinner. That sounds so good. Okay. All right. Is there anybody else who wants to be in the drawing for the sign? Sorry, Jenny, you're the fast typer. I got to I gotta slow down so everybody can have a fair chance at these priceless goodies. Um. Okay, I got three of you in here, and the lucky winner is June. Okay, let's see. All right. And then let me put you guys all back in here in case you might win something fabulous. Um, oh, here's another priceless treasure. Um, it is a, like a little piece of doll furniture, but... Somebody said it's actually a pin cushion, which you could use it for a pin cushion. I think it's a doll stool though. Priceless pin cushion. Um, priceless pin cushion. Or stool for a miniature doll house or for your grandkids' little Barbie house. Um, if you want the stool, just type that in. Stool. Um, if you need the fine line water erasable marking pen, I am not sure it still works, but if you want it, type it in. Here is a double-eyed needle from Nancy's Notions. If you're surging, you insert serger thread ends into the needle, weave under stitches, pull through. If you're knitting, secure yarn ends when changing colors or skeins of yarn. If you're heirloom sewing, use the needle to thread ribbons under decorative stitches. And then here is a sticky thing for you to put on the back of your cell phone to put your credit cards in. So if you want this, it's brand new in the wrapper still. It, you put your credit cards in it, and it's got the 3M tape, so it sticks to the back of your cell phone. Um, so if you want those, oh, they're, oh, oh, look at you girls. I'm sitting here talking, and you're just riding away. Oh, so many of you for the stool. Oh, another drawing. I'm going to run out of paper. Where is Doris when I need her? Um, okay, let's see. Cute pin cushion. Sue A. Jenny. Victor. Jenny, Victor. Suzette. Suzette, it's good to see you. Here, I'm going to make these papers smaller so I don't run out. Suzette E. And don't forget to let me know if you want to sign up for the mystery class. Um, with Victor, we're going to have a ton of fun. It's going to be five Monday nights right after the show. So we'll be ending promptly at five o'clock so that we can, um, oh, I don't want the stool. You can use it as a pin cushion. You can totally use it as a pin cushion. Uh, where in the world did you get all this stuff? Donna Taylor, don't even ask. It Kate, it just showed up at my back door. And you know me, I'm a hoarder. I can't um, get rid of it. Jenny, I think, is the only one who wants this. And I am like Mary Poppins. The bag just never ends. Stuff just shows up here. Okay. Um, 
when the mystery starts the last Monday of February so that you have time to get registered and pick out your fabrics. You can use like coordinating fat quarters for it if you wanted, or you can just do all scrappy to use up your stash. So it's five Mondays, it's $49. That includes the pattern. And we're gonna have raffles and giveaways and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, okay, the fine line water erasable marking pen is a no-go for anybody. Nobody wants that. Um, and the stool, okay, let's see. The stool is going to um, Victor. Victor is the winner of the stool. The double-eyed needle, I got a couple of you, I think, that wanted that um, sticky thing. Where? Wait. Um, sticky thing. Oh, Victor, sorry, I already gave that away Jenny, to Jenny. Um, double-eyed needle. I've got Jenny and Terracotta. Jenny. Sorry, I didn't know what sticky thing meant, Victor. Uh, Jenny and Terracotta. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to save all these names. Donna Taylor. You've been away for a little bit, and it is crazy. Um, it has not come in yet, Suzette, the, the piece. Okay, Kathleen, keep me honest. I was just going to, like, ignore that. Okay, Sue, I'll sign you up. Um, super mystery. I'll sign you up for the mystery. Um, oh, Victor says it's okay. He got the stool. Okay, thank God, because I don't want to have to keep doing this. Just finish the blue and minky strip quilt fabrics charity one. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's see. I don't, oh, we're, the double eyed needle is going to um, Jenny. Gosh. Um, okay. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, oh, here's a latch hook guy. If anybody remember when we used to do those latch hook rugs, if anybody needs the latch hook, oh, you could probably pull your snags through with this too. If anybody wants it, uh, did I ever get a trash bag? Charity, I believe it's in your box. Here's some Fuso Bond if you want it. It feels a little bit old. Um, some Fuso Bond. Here's some fun little blue um buttons like i don't know they came off a jacket or something vintagey blue buttons if you want those do you girls see now why sometimes i'm just drowning in the stuff i just drown in the stuff okay anybody want that let me know oh in oh what's in here uh, oh oh Oh. Uh, huh. Okay. Well, here. Huh. Okay. <laughs> you guys can't see in the treasure box, but it's kind of a interesting. There is. I've been cleaning up, like literally cleaning up. So there is a ton of random stuff in here. So we're just gonna save this for Monday. I think the last check should be in a museum. I agree. I agree, but I didn't want to throw it away without letting somebody have it if they want it. See, I knew Jenny would want it. I know, Charity, 80s or like 70s. Um, I just hate to throw anything away, and there's always somebody wants it, like literally. Um, okay, it may be easier if you scroll. I know, Kathleen, it would totally be easier. Oh, Sue wanted the latch hook too? Uh, sorry, Sue, I didn't see your name. I'm, I'm gonna keep an, an eye open for another one for you, okay? Okay, nobody wants the buttons. Latch hook is the old, yes, Charity, it is old diamond art. Okay, I'm um, sorry, uh, I don't know. I think I have Suzette for the mystery. I'm trying not to miss comments, but it's happening quicker than you guys can even imagine. 
<laughs> Good thing I'm like ADHD and can't keep track of anything. Who put me in charge anyways? Okay, the buttons. I, I've got Suico. Sue A. Okay, nobody wants the iron-on adhesive. The really ancient, should probably be in a museum, fusible. It feels a little bit crunchy. Oh, June still does lash hooking. She I found them in an estate sale in yard sales. You know what? I honestly, um, it, the, the blue buttons look like the things that hold your threads from unrolling off the hooks. They do. Well, and the beige one kind of looks like a tiny little finger cot. It's an interesting collection. Somebody definitely pulled it off of clothing. Um, I think I'm even going, oh, uh, Jenny's going to take it. Jenny, let me know if it's any good. You never know. Um, okay, so um, Donna Taylor says you need to say no sometimes. I know, Donna, but sometimes I open up a box and it's all like um, vintage buttons, like the Bakelite buttons, you never know what's going to be in a box. So I literally opened up, um, I, I, somebody called me and they wanted to bring me a load of stuff. And I said, oh, I'm picking the kids up at the rec center. I can just come by and pick it up from your house. I have a kidnapper van. I can just put it in, in my van. And they said, okay, three van fulls, and I'm talking about full vans, three full van fulls later. And there was a ton of latch hooking stuff. I mean, I just put tables and tables out in front of the shop. Okay, here, this is somebody who needs this today. This is, I'm not really sure because I think it's like a, um, a saint, a patron saint or something. But we've got a necklace in here and it's got a, um, I would tell you what saint it was if I could read it, but I can't. But one of you smart people probably knows. So we got a necklace in here if you guys want that. Um, and we have so much more, but that's all I can handle for today. Um, okay. All right, Fran. Oh. I got duplicates here. Kathleen, I think you're right. We, it looks like St. Christopher. Um, Kathleen, we should just draw names and tell them that they should be happy for what they get and not to throw a fit. We could get through this box a lot quicker. And um, look at the box is like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like half, it's like so full of like fat quarters, and so we'll have to do this on on Wednesday. Uh, mini simple folded corners. I don't know, it's a template of some sort. Oh, here, this is really good timing. Wishing you a warm and cozy Christmas. Christmas card. There's some Villa Rosa button. There's all kinds of stuff. I literally found um, a bag, a raffle bag that nobody had picked up from like two years ago. So I threw it in here. So that's why there's all the fat quarters and, and charm packs. Uh, <laughs> yes, they're getting it for free. I know. Okay, Beverly and, and June Sterling. Anybody else want to be in the drawing? It's a, oh, it's a, it's, well, it's in an Avon box, but that doesn't mean anything. Here, anybody else want to be in the drawing? You can always remember fabric chicks. It's got an M on the back, but I don't know if that's like for M was the name of the person or if it is stands for something. Bye, Judy. We'll see you soon. Okay. Susan DeHaunt. It's a Madonna, Sharon says. Irvin Airy. Uh, Susan. Um, free plus shipping. Charity, I know. The shipping's what gets you. Donna Baker, you won something earlier. Where were you? Uh, if it's St. Anthony, he, help, he helps find things. Well, we need that for sure. It would be more fun to just make it. And I, 
Donna, I'm going to make it an auction and we're going to start at like one cent. One cent. No, we'll be here all day for that too. Um, okay. Let, I think I got all the people at the, uh, I don't know if I got you girls at the beginning of the necklace thing. Let me, <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's see who is the lucky winner. And I've got Donna Baker. Donna, that was good timing. You just strolled right in. Okay, that's it for today. Tune in on Wednesday at 4 o'clock. We got a whole lot more. Um, Donna Baker, I know. I'm going to start everything at a dollar. No more freebie stuff, girls. This just takes too long. Um, okay, we will see you girls and gentlemen on Wednesday at... Four o'clock, who knows what we're gonna be doing, um, but I'm sure it will be entertaining if nothing else. All right, have a good night, go sew something. Bye, go get some sewing done. Good night.